Hi guys, it's Denise and James, and it's actually um, day 14 of our 365 days to changing our life and hopefully changing your life too. And today we want to talk about moving from being an employee to becoming an entrepreneur. And obviously this isn't going to be for everybody because not everybody has the desire to become an entrepreneur. Um, I know a lot of people that have regular jobs working for somebody else and they're, they're completely happy with that. So this only applies to the, those of you that want to become an entrepreneur but don't know how to get past some of the challenges because it really is a completely different way of looking at things. And I, I came up with one analogy um, for for that and it's kind of like um, when you have a job working for somebody else and you're used to having a boss telling you what to do um, it's kind of like being in a swimming pool and you you have the edges that are safe and you can get out quick if if you want to and if you want to jump in to be an entrepreneur um, it's kind of like being thrown into into the ocean with the sharks <laughs> like you're there by yourself and you've all lost sight of the shore and that's what it takes uh, to really become an entrepreneur and so many people don't want to do that because they don't want to be way out in the ocean with no safety with no help with nothing and um, James had a really cool analogy too uh, right and I was thinking that a lot of people think that being an entrepreneur you have to be have a lot of money you have to have really be rich to start a new business and not exactly true and great example is if you watch the if you ever watch the Shark Tank is a great show and a lot of people with a little bit money with good idea they can achieve a lot of money profits and goals and also what I noticed that for some people entrepreneurs if they see obstacle is like for them it's like little bump they just go cross it go through it with little help friends but for some people they think that this little bump is like high mountains that okay what are you gonna do I'm stuck uh, I have to give up but this doesn't work for me like no this high mountain you can make smaller to the small bump that you can just also go through it and you know another thing too it's it's so true because uh, so many people that try to start their own business or, or to become an entrepreneur, um, the easy thing is just to give up. I mean, I've seen so many people start, start businesses thinking, oh, this is going to be awesome, this home-based business, and they, they do something for like a week or two, and they don't get any results, and they, they're like, oh, this doesn't work. They get really frustrated, and they let their frustration take over them instead of really committing. That's what it takes. It takes a commitment, just like if you're gonna if you want to lose 50 pounds, you can't start a diet or go to the gym and think a week later this isn't working. I mean, you have to give it a chance. You have to go in and say, I am going to do this for a year. That's it, period. You have to go in there with that attitude, and if you don't, you're never gonna make it. You have to be committed, and, and that's that's the main thing. And I just have to say, um, that James um, committed himself to, uh, you know, getting his commercial pilot license, and he started out with his uh, private. He got his private license for um, helicopters and regular Cessnas, and he's been working really hard for the past several months to get um, the next rating, which is an IFR rating. And for any of you that aren't pilots, honey, tell him what the IFR rating uh, is. IFR is actually instrument flight rules so basically if I don't have I don't fly with visual reference to the ground I have to rely on my instruments only to on the aircraft so uh, I pass my I passed my check right today he so passed his awesome. test today. so next step is a commercial yay honey he passed his test today and so he's certified for IFR the next step is commercial and you know you just gotta be determined you gotta be committed and um, you have to be willing to change the mindset. You have to be willing to be open. You have to be willing to be coachable. And when a wall comes up, a little tiny thing that makes you feel uncomfortable, most people want to quit or pull away or say, I can't do it, it's too hard. Because 
maybe using important things, you also have to make sacrifices too. Oh yeah, that's that's a huge one. A lot of people aren't willing to give up a lot of things. We have given up so many things. We've given up time together. We've given up time with our friends. We don't watch TV. We don't listen to the radio. We don't. And I know so many people aren't willing to do that. And it all depends on what you're willing to do. Because yeah, because when I don't have when I have to study, I don't have time for my wife. And but I study and I'm flying not for my own pleasure because we're gonna benefit this in the future. Because I want to be a pilot, it'd be my job, so we're going to both profit, so I'm not doing it for myself, but looks like it, but I, we sacrifice, and I sacrifice our time, but thank you, honey, for supporting me. <laughs> well, we're supporting each other, and that's, that's really important, and, you know, if you don't have um, somebody in your life that can support you, find other people, like we have found a team of people that um, that get, that will support us. In fact, this morning I was on the phone for an hour with my mentor. And if you get to a, a spot where you feel frustrated or you or you feel like you don't know what to do, there's so much help out there. There's so much help. You can't be afraid to ask for help. And so that's what it takes. I hope this video helped you to be a little motivated and to feel like, okay, I can do it. I just have to switch a few things in my mind. And, um, and do a few, a few things a little differently. And don't ever give up. Don't ever, ever give up. That's the main thing. And just keep going, keep going, and push through all the mud and all the walls and all the obstacles. There are ways around it. People have proven that it can be done, and it can be done. It just depends on, on, where you, on, on how much it means to you and why you're really doing it. So anyway, I'm going to leave a link for you um, to see what we're doing, um, see if it's interesting to you. I mean, you might want to do something different, and that's okay too, but whatever you're doing, I just we just wanted to make this video for you to push through all those obstacles and don't ever give up. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye yeah. for now. Bye. Contact, call us, and we help you go through. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.